Welcome back. I fixed it. I found what happened. Well, so I, I never mentioned this much in previous episodes, but this game, the reason, you might notice actually that I mentioned that one, I noticed that I was controlled and I was pointing to control port two. And two, the game would allow me to use control port two anyways. Well, an interesting design decision about this game, and probably for the best, to be honest, given that it's a single player game, at least locally, is that, is the multiplayer only online? I don't know. But, um, is that you can have input from multiple devices simultaneously. For instance, there are multiple cases of me switching to the keyboard without unplugging my controller, and I could do that with no problem. Well, what happened was when I unplugged my buggy controller, it, uh, it, it then decided to connect wirelessly and stayed connected. So that controller was still influencing my gameplay while I was trying to use other control schemes. Jeez. Yeah, I probably don't need that controller anymore. So yes, my other controller is in fact worse than this one that resets on me. Well, I don't want it to. And optimizing movement in this game seems real, real tough. I like this game. I like that this game has high expectations, though. I like that this game makes it so that you can either hold yourself to really high standard, trying to get platinums and whatnot, or just um, take it easy. That's actually precisely what I wanted. Any challenge that you give yourself is a challenge that you are giving yourself. I chose that this game because it looked like it would be fairly easy going on you, and I was hoping though that in the midst of that it would also offer challenge, and it seems like it did exactly that. I'm very pleased about that. I might have missed another cycle there, unfortunately, I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, I think you need to... So there are two points, <laughs> the ball is still rising, you can see on the minimap. There are two parts, I think, where you have to be real fast. Ready? Go. Oh, this is one of those ones that's actually a lot longer than it looks. Interesting. A lot of mileage out of very little... ...volume. Seems like a nerve-wracking one to be fast on, because you have stuff like that. This one would be a real adventure to try to get Platinum on, I think. I wonder if there's footage of everyone getting Platinum in this game or anything like that. Everyone. I mean, someone getting Platinum on everything in this game, I mean to say. I would probably have to look to try to get Platinum on everything in this game, because... Man, otherwise... Some of these times, some of these times it really seems like... I just don't know how to, uh, ooh, try to plot things out. Oh wow, really? I'll take it. I still wish, uh, I've seen some, some thoughts about this in the comments too. I don't know how to feel about not knowing the platinum times because I don't know, it's hard to gauge how I'm doing. Like, do I have to take a completely different approach or do I just need to optimize my movement? How close am I to getting a platinum? on a given course. I don't know that if I don't know what the Platinum Times are. That's weird looking there. Ah! Right on the edge. Ready? Really? There has to be some way of getting past that part quickly. It feels key to being fast here. Like that I can do fast, certainly. Something like that, then. Oh. That felt pretty good to me. Yeah! It's tempting to try to get platinum on everything here because I'm getting platinum on a lot of things. Machinery. Ready? Machinations. Oh, whoa. Noises! Ready? I want to see what it was like for Coco making all these things. I want to see what sorts of materials she used. I mean, not just the the cardboard, like, everything else. Wow. This starts moving a lot. 
going, man. Get going. Oh. Probably not a platinum bear. <laughs> Just barely. So I might come back to try to get more platinum on stuff later. I'm not sure. I did do a little bit of thinking about this one. Although it's not really any ideas I haven't had already. But the idea is I want to just keep going straight forwards the whole time. Yeah, I got a worse time that time. I would think I what I need to do is maintain my forwards movement. And that probably means not devoting any... I don't know, I still can't do better. Not devoting any effort to moving against the... No, slower! The turning part here? I, th I imagine that this turning bit here is the key in some way. Unless there's just some special movement tactic that I don't know. I don't know how I managed to get that better time earlier. The fact that this has a light shear still makes me think there might be something you fancy you can do. If you can really get a speed boost by bouncing off of that. But since it's evidently not working, whatever I was hoping to do here. I didn't even get a much worse time for doing that, though. Well, that is a weird thing. Even if I don't go in a straight line, I don't lose much time. Which seems to suggest to me that something is actually making me go slightly faster when I do stuff like this. Yeah, like, see that? Well, I did just now. That got me the same time as just going straight... Kind of straight. Like this. This really does seem like one where it's actually a good idea to use the keyboard. So I can actually have totally precise movement. Like that time, I was just going straight. And yet, I got a worse time for not having gone off to the side against the wall there. What was it? Uh, it's tab to restart. I don't know why that is. I think it'd be R or something. I don't have an explanation for it, really. There's something in this game that I am yet to understand. There really is. I don't know if you just want to ride the side in general. I don't. I doubt you want to just ride down the whole side, and that'll make you faster. But it does make you faster, just not much. Again, I I've spent too much time on this. It's just I have this curiosity about it because I really don't know how it is that it works. Because the results don't make much sense to me. It suggests to me there's some kind of, like, s real secret to the movement here, I just don't know yet. But anyways. Volcano! Volcano? Only like a third of the way through the game? Okay. We're getting pretty serious pretty quick here. Cool music. Oh, of course, waffles. That's that's what you do with this all this geothermal heat. You make waffles with it. Still liking this game's music. I tend to say I like music of like every game I play, so maybe I, I think a person would be justified to accuse me of being really easily impressed with music, but I oh, okay, you can actually see out the top of the volcano that way. Looking up. But even so I'd rather enjoy things than not, so I think it works out. Yeah, I'm trying to ride the sides to try to be fast. Then if you ride the sides too much, you slow yourself down having to go back up. Ooh. Ah. A little bit of a bump at the end there. I imagine I can do better on that one. And if I can do if I think I can do better on something, I'll retry it a couple times. And this game would be terribly short if I didn't actually put effort into doing well in it, of course. And it, it is a skill game, so. Challenging yourself and whatnot is a big part of the point. But you gotta do that within reason too, so I don't know if I should try to go for platinums or anything. 
Ah! Now that part's tricky. The faster you go, the harder it is to steer. Of course. Goodbye! I realize that it's just a matter of how the game renders things. It always renders the ball on top, and I realize that Monkey Ball did this too, but it's always so weird to me when I never actually collide with anything in the background. I always get drawn on top of it. Which from a technical perspective is like totally unremarkable. You just tell the the game what to render in what order. But like it, it's it works against what a person's used to seeing in the world. Ooh. It really is a double helix. Like DNA type. It's cool. Eh. Ready, go. Appropriate music though. I mean, there are a couple different approaches to to lava filled levels musically that one might come across. The real synthy one is usually my favorite. With like real wet sounding synths. Probably because of Pop Wheels, um soundtrack challenge, though. That's probably what made me associate such music with such levels the most. Oh, whoa! There is an actual avalanche going on here. I was wondering, are there going to be things falling on here? Ah! Why is there an avalanche here of all places? Also, I want to see. Oh, interesting. I just wanted to see where the where the snowballs are coming from. I mean, they look like snowballs to me. They're solid white. It's an avalanche, in fact. You don't usually have an avalanche of no, not snow things, I don't think. Is this RNG? I don't think it is. Yet I've somehow managed to collide with things in different places on different occasions. Ha! Ah. The beginning always seems the same though, so no, I don't think it's RNG, which is good. Oh. Ow. Ready, go. This is precisely what I, what I would have asked for musically for a, a level that looks like this. Ah! Ready, I'm, uh, I'm not... Yeah, I haven't quite got the hang of the... Ready, the inversion of the camera yet, vertically. If you ask me what my preferences are for camera inversion, I don't have an answer. I have done so much of both styles of camera. I don't actually feel... It's like being... It's like both hands being your offhand. <laughs> I don't feel totally comfortable with either. And I can't... Oftentimes, if I play a game... Like, if I play a game where I'm used to using one, and then I switch to the other, I can't even... I'll notice that something's off, but I won't even be certain what it is that's off. I can't, like, say it to myself for certain. Man, that got two at the end there. And even if I switch back to what I was using before, it'll still feel awkward. Camera controls, I think. Whoever it is that decided to start inverting controls in, in games, I think, made cameras worse for, for everyone in the world. <laughs> Because now there's no right answer, I don't think. And it's good that most games give you the option to switch, but then you have people like me that just haven't even managed to establish a preference. I kind of there's a bat nester on this staircase. Uh, yeah! Okay. Come on, guys, you can't give me something like this and then expect me not to use it. Ah! I'm trying to... It's a matter, though, of getting the right bounce here. If I can get just slightly further, and then bounce forwards, or even just do what I did just there, just not hit the banister at all. Uh, after I manage to do this, I'll do the level the proper way. But I mean, this was so obvious to me from the beginning that I should oh, that I should do it. Whoops. I assume that no reason why I wouldn't. You know, are there any concerns about having, like, a bunch of lava-filled things in a... Darn. In your paper mache project? Ugh. I still want to imagine, like, how it is that Coco's presenting all of this to her class. 
Ah. I don't know how much leeway there is for getting a platinum here. Because I imagine platinum is probably not just figuring out the trick here. It's probably also uh, having optimal movement within it. Like, that might be a gold. Yep! Man, this game, they ask a lot of you. It's not enough to figure out the the smart way of doing things. You have to do it well, too. Ah, I really, I, I really wonder if you have to do something like that. Like they actually expect you to get a nice bounce like that. To... It's really hard to get over there though, over that banister. Ah, it's hard to maintain your speed to do it. Oh, no. I think it's a better bet just not to try to go over that. Ah. Going a little bit over episode time. I guess I'm making up for the last episode. Ooh, oddness though. I don't think there's... Unless I can just barely go over the banister and bounce um, forwards that way. And even then, I'd still bounce that left for angle, I guess. I don't think there's a good way to get a good bounce off of this. Go straight into the goal like I want. That wasn't much better. I need to land in the goal as opposed to... I bounced too much at the end. Oh. Ooh, you know? Eh. If I could get myself to bounce off the edge here, that would probably be really good. Off the edge of this staircase here. Ah! Like, I just act went barely over that time. I actually bounced off of it instead. That's really precise, though. I kind of did it there, I think. Ah, I, I don't know of any way to reduce my bounce, though, after I've... I guess what I need to do is I need to slow down. Maybe. So, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to land in the goal before I bounce again. That doesn't seem quite possible, so I guess what I should do is that. There we go. Okay, I'll see you next time in the next episode where we, I don't know, do more lava things. <laughs> Bye, everyone.